Welcome back to Glorious World. Friends, Annabelle is very familiar to us in horror too. I am a big fan of Annabelle. If you are, please like this video to tell us that you are a big fan of Annabelle. So friends, do you know the real story behind the Annabelle? So in this video, I would be telling about the real story behind the Annabelle. Are you ready? So, without wasting time, let's get started. According to the actual tale, Donna, a student nurse, received a Rajiti Ann doll as a gift from her mother in 1970. When the doll exhibited strange behavior in front of Donna and her roommate Angie, the medium revealed that it was possessed by a spirit of seven-year-old girl named Annabel Higgins. Apparently, the little girl had been found dead in the field that Donna's apartment complex was built on, and her restless spirit just wanted somewhere to live. At first, Donna and Angie gave the spirit permission to reside within Annabel. She was an innocent child after all, right? Not quite. Annabelle subsequently attacked their friend Leo and the roommates contacted the parents, who discovered that the doll was actually being manipulated by a demon who desired Donna's soul. After learning the horrifying truth about the demon's intention, the Varens summoned a priest to perform an exorcism. That wasn't the end of the whole spooky affair though. Afterward, when Ed and Lauren were driving home with Annabel in their possession, the car kept breaking down and its brakes stopped functioning. Upon arriving home, the demonic doll started displaying supernatural signs once again. After another unsuccessful exorcism attempt, Annabelle was taken to Warren's occult museum and placed in the glass case. These days, she is a tourist attraction. Of course, some people claimed that the Warren's animal story is very bit as fabricated as the horror film that were influenced by it. In fact, some skeptics believe that the real story is similar to the 1963 episode of the Twilight Zone called Living Doll which features a character named Annabelle who buys a haunted doll for her daughter. Now I don't want to call the Varens liar. Maybe they genuinely believed that their doll was haunted by a demon. But the doubter in me cannot overlook the glaring link to Twilight Zone. At least the director Toy Story 4, Josh Cooley, admitted that his idea for a villainous doll was borrowed from the iconic show. Overall, everything ever said by the Varens will always be a source of dispute between believers and naysayers. But Hannibal still helped popularize the scary doll trope that had been commonplace in horror cinema and television for decades. For that reason alone, fans of scary movies should be thankful for the Varens' contribution to the field of paranormal research. Hope you like this video. If you like it, please like, share and subscribe.